Good morning, Coastal Bend. I'm meteorologist Carly Smith, and we are looking at cloud coverage once again over much of the Coastal Bend. We also have some patchy fog that is impacting the Rockport area as we speak. So temperatures right now sitting at 71 degrees now at 618. Say upper 60s inland from Beeville to Mathis, Alice 70 at the beach, 74 Flower Bluff. In your day planner today, the sun's going to come up at 647, but we will be muggy, still dealing with some of that low cloud coverage. That's going to break into the afternoon though we get some wind mixing things out as well. We'll see highs back in the upper 80s. Your sunset will be 635, then clouds build back into the evening. So right around 6 o'clock, if you're headed out for a run or so forth, 81 degrees, breezy wind out of the southeast, about 19 miles per hour. High temperatures across the area, 91 Alice, 90 George West. Yes, it's going to be hot off to the west. It will near 90 in Kingsville, 87 Corpus Christi, 74 at the beach today. Taking a look at your lows overnight, we're going to repeat it. We'll be back around 70 degrees with that fog, mostly sea fog, impacting our coastal regions. Mugginess is going to continue. So this bluff feeling you've been dealing with every day this week, that's sticking around Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is our day of change. We see a cold front moving through. It looks like late in the day on Sunday, just late enough for our temperatures to bump up potentially into the 90s on Sunday. So what we are tracking is the stationary front to our north. With that being said, we're going to continue to have those southerly winds to southeast winds that pump up our moisture, keep us rather humid, warm and muggy out there. We're going to continue to be dealing with that throughout the upcoming week. This front digs south just a little bit, tries to make it into the hill country, producing some rain across central Texas, a chance of thunderstorms as well there Thursday late afternoon into the evening with a little bit of a dry line extending down into portions of south southwest Texas, uh, but overall all of that storm activity looks to stay to our north. We're not going to see. I don't think any rain there on Friday, especially as this warm front lifts to the north. We're just going to be turning rather hot for the weekend. Uh, then Sunday is our day of change. We're going to see that cold front approach. Then it's going to slowly move through the area Sunday night, bringing in that cooler air. And yes, it does look like our best chance of rain is Monday. But even with that being said, it is not a good chance. Wind is going to be mostly out of the south throughout the week until we get those northeast winds. Those are the ones that are going to cool us down. It doesn't look like a westerly front. It'll be northeast winds Monday into Tuesday, uh, but waves may still pick up a little bit with just the disturbance of the front over the Gulf. But overall, still warm and humid for the next five days, Barbie.